What if you could receive a real-time alert on your phone the moment a gas leak or flame is detected using just a small USB 32 and a couple of sensors? In this project, we are building a smart gas and flame alert system that sends instant notification to your phone using Blink, even from another room or another city. To build this powerful safety system, you will need one USB 32 development board, one MQ2 gas sensor, one flame sensor, one breadboard, jumper wires, micro USB cable, a smartphone with the Blink app installed. Let's wire up the sensor to the USB 32. Take the breadboard as well. First, we'll power the breadboard. Connect the 3.3V pin of USB to the positive power rail of the breadboard and GND of USB to the negative rail of the breadboard. Insert the MQ2 gas sensor on the breadboard. Connect the VCC pin of MQ2 to the positive power rail of the breadboard. Connect the GND pin of the MQ2 sensor to the negative ground rail of the breadboard. Connect its D out pin to the GPIO32 or we can say pin D32 on USB32. MQ2 has both analog and digital pins. We are using the digital output D out for simple detection, gas or no gas. Now insert the flame sensor in the breadboard. Connect the VCC pin of the flame sensor to the positive power rail of the breadboard. Connect the GND pin of the flame sensor to the negative ground rail of the breadboard. Connect its D out pin to the GPIO35 or we can say pin D35 on USB32. Flame sensors give a low signal when flame is detected, so we will check for low in our code. Double check your connection according to the circuit diagram before powering the circuit. Now let's set up the Blink app for the first time. Step 1. Open your browser and go to blink.cloud. Register or login. If you are new, click sign up, enter your email and password and verify your email. If you already have an account, just log in. Next step is go to developer zone. Click on developer mode from the left sidebar and then click templates. Step 4. Create a new template. Click add new template and enter the following. Name, gas or flame alert. Hardware select ESP32. Then click create. Step 5. Set up the notification events. Go to the events tab inside your template. Click plus new new event. Create the first event. Event name fire underscore alert. Description fire detected. Enable send push notification. Enable notify every time. Now click create. Then click plus new event again for the gas, event name gas underscore alert, description gas detected, enable the same notification options. Step 6 save it, now go to the devices, click add new devices, choose from template, select your gas or flame alert template, name your device and click create. Step 7 copy your blink credential, now you will get three things, hash define blink underscore template underscore id your template id define blink underscore template underscore name gas or flame alert define blink underscore auth underscore token your auth token copy this we'll have to paste this into our arduino code now download the code and the library files given in the description below open the code and library files if you already downloaded the arduino ide otherwise download the arduino ide first these lines are provided by blink when you create a device from a template they uniquely identify your device and link it to your Blink project. This library allows the USB32 to connect to Wi-Fi and Blink Cloud. Change your underscore SSID to your Wi-Fi name and your underscore password to your password. This connect the USB32 to the internet. We define the digital pins where the MQ2 gas sensor and the flame sensor are connected. This timer will run a function every second to check sensor data and send alerts. These two lines read the current state of flame sensor and gas sensor. This prints the gas status to the serial monitor for debugging. If gas is detected, we send a push notification using Blink's log event. Same for flame when low, that is flame detected. Now in setup function, we start the serial monitor. Set sensor pins as input. Connect to Blink with Wi-Fi. Tell Blink to run check sensor function every 2 seconds. In the loop, this keeps the Blink connection alive and runs our sensor checking timer. That's it. Now we will upload the code to the USB32. Plug your USB32 into the computer using the USB cable. Select the correct board USB32 dev module. Then go to the tools and select port where your USB32 is connected. Make sure to replace the Blink credential here and Wi-Fi name and its password here. Now click the upload button. If you see connecting and the dots appear, you hold boot button until it starts uploading. Once uploaded, open the serial monitor and set the board rate to double one five to double zero here you will see real-time updates from the gas and flame sensor printed every two seconds 
Now open the Blink IoT app on your smartphone if you have one. Otherwise download the Blink IoT app. Go to the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Search Blink IoT and install the app. Log in using the same email and password you used for your Blink console on the laptop or desktop. Open the app and go to the device tab. You will see the same device you created on your laptop. Tap on it. You should see the device online. Make sure push notifications are enabled for the Blink app in your phone setting. Now it's time to test. Gently bring a flame near the flame sensor, don't touch it directly. The flame sensor detects infrared light and sends a low signal when flame is present. Almost instantly you will receive a notification near your mobile fire detected. Now bring a gas lighter or some, you know, alcohol based sanitizer near the MQ2 gas sensor. If gas is detected, you will see a spike on the gauge and get a notification, gas detected. The USP32 continuously checks the digital signal from the gas and flame sensors. When gas is detected or high or the flame is detected low, it triggers an event notification via Blink Cloud. These alerts are then pushed to your mobile instantly from anywhere in the world. This is a prototype safety system. It gives real-time alerts which could be used in kitchen, gas storage areas, workshop, smart homes and all. Now, if you like this project, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for such more exciting DIY tech projects with RoboArmy.